Okay. Let's go, Panda. I don't want to go free on free with Panda. I feel like you're misusing his potential if you do that. Yeah, me how start is not bad. Now we can go Rafam Hero Power. And we can either level Hero Power or just buy in Hero Power. But let's see what Tess is going to do. Murloc 1. She leveled with the Murloc, so it's always uh, a steal. Yeah, it's probably good to level Hero Power. Is Grisbot a minion that you insta pick right now? If you're offered it early, sure. You can pick it and build around it. But I feel like you don't want to force it too much. Overforcing it is bad. So you don't want to do that either. Swap lock and shove it. Nice. This is kind of how Panda wants to play. This board is absolutely out of this world for 5 gold for turn 3. Yeah, Panda is very powerful as a hero. We managed to leverage it so well. Like, the Millhouse hero power allowed me to get um, one extra gold for next turn. That I used to get Rafam hero power, that I used to get the Murloc. Then I got Tad in the shop, which allowed me to double buy and not have to sell any of my minions. And then I also managed to switch around the mug for extra stats. Could also have frozen for next turn, but let's not do that. I wanna just be open for more powerful plays in the future as well. What a crazy tempo turn. Stop bragging, RDU. Yeah, exactly. I'm bragging too much, yeah? Wait, <laughs> how many minions get buffed by the reclaimed souls? Only one, right? So not such a good pick. Wait, did Papot also die? No, right? Yeah, for only one is not worth. Let's go glory of combat. Elden Ring later. Uh, no Elden Ring today. I'm not doing a super long stream. Because I'm having a birthday party later. I'll, I'll stream Elden Ring next week, I promise you, oh my god. I'm not giving up on the game, it's a really fun game. I'm starting to get the hang of it. 10 hours in, I feel like I'm understanding something about the game. I don't want to get too cocky. I feel like I'm understanding some things. Well, some things I still don't understand. So tomorrow hangover stream, I'm probably taking tomorrow off, 99% I'm taking tomorrow off. <clears throat> so let's enjoy the stream while uh, we can today. So only battlegrounds today, yeah. Let's go Earth Invocation and destroy Tez. If you streamed your VOD, I wouldn't even notice. <laughs> Isn't it weird that you're deflecting on us? Who should I be deflecting on? The Elden Ring bosses? Is this the VOD? No, no, no. I never streamed the VOD. What I did in some of the longer streams in the past is I was taking a break and then playing a YouTube video, but I was like writing on screen that it's a YouTube video for like half an hour. But that was like in the past for like super long streams. It's not a bad idea. Maybe I'll do it some point in the future again. We'll see. At least it's good. I figured your palette was more refined. Here's your goal. Wow, that's so lazy. 
I mean, depends from what perspective uh, you're looking at it and saying that it's lazy. If I tell you why I was playing YouTube videos, you will not say that it's lazy. Like, for example, I was doing a 12-hour stream and uh, everybody from my family was, like, out of town and I had to walk my dog. So I interrupted my stream for half an hour to and play the YouTube video to walk my dog. Or I was really, 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 really tilted to the point where most people would end the streams and I was taking a break, get some food and like took a shower and then came back to stream. I, I obviously don't want to interrupt the stream to play a YouTube video for no reason. I think it's time to add a little bit of... Is this a YouTube video? What if this becomes a YouTube video because we have a great game on Panda? There you go. Take them down like that would be hilarious. Uh, Tavern Lightning is good. I really think they nerfed Rakan issue by making it the uh, only buff the minions uh, tavern level and not your tavern level because now I could have with all the Rakanishu hero power I could have given pop both 5-5 five five. but I can't do that right now but I know all Rakanishu hero power was also 2 gold so there's that chat's kind of shitty right now I think it's because I got 8 plays last game tensions are high it's, it's gonna be fine I don't I don't mind it I really think they should uh, make Rakanishu just buff your tavern level that will make the hero exciting at least. It would be cool if they would rework some of the heroes. I thought the kitchen was on fire, but it was just you! <laughs> also, somebody was saying that the, the, the NA viewers are the salty ones. In my experience... I think Europeans are more salty than NA people, but it depends what you're talking about. If you're talking Hearthstone, Europeans are way more salty. If you're talking politics, it's a different game. If you're talking football, it's an entirely different game. Because everybody's gonna think uh, their game is better. So it depends on the subject. Let's talk about medical care. <laughs> Oh my god, going for the little blow. Let's go Philactery. Is Philactery bad? Insta picking Tio. Not even thinking about it. Somebody in chat says Americans should only make movies and music, no cap. What? I don't know what your secret ingredient is, but it's working. <laughs> you can tell Radu agreed. I mean, I like American movies, but it's not the only thing Americans can do. I like American food. They might take my European citizenship away, but... I like American food. I think Europe should have bigger food portions as well. We're getting ripped off at restaurants. One battle done. Now get on your apron and cook up a strategy. That's like one of the perks of like losing the fight. For a spot of tea. I'll do what I can. I've got my permits. I got your order for you. I'm feeling clutchy. Nothing scares me. Except me. Me.
And now we started the war in Twitch chat comments. I mean, I think every country and region has like pros and cons. Nothing is perfect, right? Let him keep going. You're doing great. I love the Romanian mentality. The Romanian mentality is like, our country is shit, but if anybody attacks our country, we're like, ah, but we have these great things and like the country is actually pretty great. I think that's actually with a lot of people and other countries as well, not only with us. Swap block and shop. I want to swap block and shop the jug. You cannot swap the monkey. Oh my god, that's the one thing I don't want to Uther. I wanted to Uther the Menace and then put it on the 4 Reaper. But afterwards, I wanted to Uther the 4 Reaper and then Uther the Menace. Fuck. I realized that the bad outcome could have happened, but I was hoping it doesn't. You cannot heal power the monkey, that would be too OP. Switching a golden minion would also give you a discovery. That would make Jandis like the best hero in the game. Yeah, Tess is just bad in this meta, guys. I don't know. I feel like it's a tempo meta, or at least it, it becomes tempo in the mid game, and then you don't have time with Tess to, to build. So last game I lost because of the hero, right? I mean, it's still my fault for picking a hero that is bad. But it sucks that you have to like learn that with the top 8. Pro normal can be good. That's a lot of stats. It's actually too many stats, I think. The demon is useless. Or should I just play four big minions? Maybe it's better to play four big. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I feel like if you cut this for this, then this is too big and you lose to Queen or Leroy. I like this board a lot more. And then if I find another Chronormal, we can put the Murloc and this into it and then go for Nadina and play like a different tactic. I know I might lose some of the buffs on the 4 Reaper, but that's okay. You don't lose that many buffs. You lose like 2-2 two, two every 3 minions, right? On average. Okay, every 4 minions. There is no such thing as too big. That's what she said. No, there is because of Queen and Leroy. Trust me, you can lose so much in this meta game if you make one big minion and then they have Queen Leroy. You can also get some juicy wins against no Queen Leroy, but it's just not worth the risk most of the time. Well Swatting insects is amazing here. Start somewhere. For me, it was peaches. 
Yeah, we start on the 4 Reaper. I like it. Wasn't it better to keep the 15-15 Titus for a selfless composition? Uh, I don't like to keep the furniture before I have the house. I think here you just want Queen and Leroy. You don't want to bother with the Titus and stuff. You need to get a frame for your poster. Yeah, I should, right? So that it looks cool in the back. I thought the kitchen was on fire, but it was just you! I hope I attack first. Okay, at least we attacked into the into that one. Dude, 40 point with Wind Fury is something else. It's different. I'm lucky that my minions are trading his minions. Spoke too soon. Not quite the flavor profile we were hoping for. Lead Explorer for 1G? Count me in. something stronger than that Would you care for a spot of justice Hamlul I'm curious what Hamlul gives me Oh wow Yeah, I don't think I will triple it. Or do I? Maybe I do for board space. Yeah, yeah, we need board space. I didn't realize at first that board space was going to be an issue. Why would you ever go for Hamul when you have Tios on the board? Because Hamul activates the Tio. And maybe you get something cool like the Chronormu. Why would you not? Now I would like Nadina or Nadina or Queen. You don't need to triple it, sell one and buy it back. I mean, I want to triple it for the discovery. I need Nadina, I need Queen. Oh, you're back. Find any ingredients out there? Oh my god. For a spot of tyranny. May scenarios smile. I like Jaraxus. That one's a bit spicy. <laughs> wow, we actually hit. Keep going, you're doing great. I need to figure out what the fuck I'm doing. If you sell the Murloc for Konormu, you might as well just sell the Team Master. Devour doesn't work that well with Chronormo.
I think we triple first. Queen is really good. Queen is really good. Queen is really good. I want to sell Tio as well. Doesn't stand a chance. There you go. Beat them down like Why Reaper so late? Good question. Wow. Put that back on the shelf for you. That's a board. There's only one problem here. Four Reaper is gonna get Leroyd. But at least Four Reaper is gonna proc all the Divine Shields, right? Um, This board would be ideal if you taunt Nadina, taunt Queen, taunt Second Queen. But I don't know how the fuck we do that. Two Leroy's are better than two Queens. Yeah, I'll try to replace a queen with a Leroy and then just taunt everything other than the Chronormus. And then it should be like a super easy win. That's it. Keep going. You're doing great. He positioned well for my guy. Well, Foriper did what Foriper was supposed to do. I would have lost my dragon otherwise. Did you, did you guys see that? I would have lost me dragon. Swap block and shop it. That's so good. Don't give her, please. Maybe just go blaster. Oh, so that's your strategy. That's a bomb. That's it. Keep going. You're doing great. Wow, that was a weird fight, but we got there. Panda is so good because he can escape any position and he can put himself to win from any position. He's just a great hero overall, I would say.
Just a great hero. Truly. That was a fun game.